the two different graphs, one of the progression of research in these fields, and one is the adoption in clinical practice. And with epilepsy, the research took off, and there are dozens of randomized controlled trials and Cochrane reviews on ketogenic therapy for epilepsy. Scansel Keys casts a long shadow over the ketogenic therapies in the sense that fat is the enemy. It was still very much affected by that dogma. And so that's something that we have to reconfigure. Our older population in the Alzheimer's study, I mean, they were really concerned that MCT is a saturated fat. That's going to be bad for me. I'm going to gain weight. So I said, well, these are the results. And the result is that you don't gain weight. And so it's one study at a time, gradually, but we have society has seen fat as the enemy for the past 50, 60 years, and it's not going to change overnight. <laughs> the idea for a neurologist to see, or a psychiatrist or a geriatrician, to see the disease through the lens of a metabolic problem and to reconfigure the way they think about the disease, I think that's probably the main challenge ahead now, is to get an acceptance that there is a metabolic foundation to many of these disorders, and there's a metabolic solution.